you can take the children and bounce them on their knees. Bounce them on their knees and then sing the melody. The Barnell Man. Did you miss it? Man. What's up, everybody, and welcome to Tam's Table. Y'all, I'm so glad to have you here with me today. As usual, all my VIPs, pull up a chair because today I have a Southern treat. Thanks to my mama, she made me crave this because I was going to eat something completely different today. Fried green tomatoes. <laughs> tomato, tomato. Fried green tomatoes, y'all. She sent me a picture of some beautiful green tomatoes out of her garden that she harvested today. And I was like, oh my God, those are perfect for frying. You got to fry some of them. She like, well, I'm gonna fry some of them, but the rest of them I'm gonna let turn red. I'm like, no, no, cold, no, Gina. Fry them bad boys. And she like, I'm gonna fry some of them. So you know me, got off work, went to the store, got me some green tomatoes, came home and pulled it together. And y'all don't know what, Y'all don't even want to know what time it is. Let me bless this food and get to grubbing because I'm hungry. I'm so hungry. Gracious God, I thank you for this food I'm about to receive. Lord, I ask that you will bless it and sanctify it for the nourishment of my body and remove all impurities. And Lord, for those that don't have anything to eat, Lord, I ask that you will bless them and provide for them as you are Jehovah Jireh. In Jesus' name, amen. Okay, so like I said, I had to... Mm. They hot. Y'all with fried green tomatoes, you gotta eat them hot. Right at the grease. If we don't, they won't be good. And they're still hot. Hot, hot. Mmm. 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 Y'all like fried green tomatoes? Mmm. This is one of my favorites. My mother used to make these when we was little. And she would be putting them on the napkin. Like taking them out the reefs and putting them on the napkin. Before they could even hit the napkin good. Me and my brother be. Tan them up. Mm. I also have some wings here. That I grabbed from Wings 101. Shout out to Wings 101. I just stopped and get some lemon pepper wings. Just for a little protein. But I really wanted these wings. Mm-hmm. And Mrs. Ranch. Mm-hmm. Oh. And to drink, I have some Simply Peach. Shout out to Rhonda's Red Sauce. This has been my one-two ever since. Mm-mm-mm. So good. If you're not following Rhonda's Red Sauce, you need to be. Rhonda's Red Sauce and Rhonda's Red Vlogs. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. And if you have not tried Simply Peach, you need to try it. <laughs> it's good. You have Simply Lemonade, Simply Orange, Simply Peach, Simply Apple. Simply blueberry lemonade. Mm. So I fried these with cornmeal and flour. And they came out perfect. My mother kept on telling me, make sure that oil is hot. If that oil ain't hot, they're gonna be soggy. And you was right, mama. The oil was hot. And they are not soggy. Stay still. Hey, there's always something to go wrong. Now the tray wanna move. Hmm. Mm -mm -mm. Mm. Also, ooh, excuse me. I'm gonna give you a preview of the new game that I have coming up. Y'all see other people is creating games similar to mine, and I'm like, all right, y'all. 
What happened to being originators? Come up with your own creativity, people. I'm going to give you a preview to the new game that I have that is coming up. It's going to be so much fun. We still going to do Name That Movie, but I got a new game. Mm. It's perfect. I think what I like about it is that green tomatoes are a little sour. So when you fry it up with the salt, mm, so good. What y'all eating today? My VIP. Anything good? Mm. It's Thursday. Mm. 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 Mm -mm -mm. Mm. I do have a shout out. I want to shout out Gibbs Family TV. I want everybody to go and subscribe to their channel. Sis just let me know that they do accept challenges. So for all y'all that like to challenge people, y'all can skip over me and challenge them. There you go. <laughs> Gibbs Family TV. They started their channel a while back. And you know, life happens. And so they had to take a break for a little while. But now they're back in it. And it's just like they had to start all the way over from scratch. Like they have to build up all over again and I can't even imagine. I know that's gotta be hard, but life happens. So if y'all can go and throw y'all support behind them, I would appreciate it and you can tell them, Tam's Table sent you. You want my VIP? Mmm, you chicken good. Mm-hmm, and still my love. Mm. Mm-hmm. Well, Wings 101 go hard, man. Who all in Atlanta? Mm. Mm-hmm. Who say Tam can't eat no chicken? They lied to you. Mm-hmm. It goes down to Tam's table. Oh yeah. Mm hmm. Mm. Shout out to everybody that's getting ready to do that. Hey, yo, Trav. Two quadruple cheeseburger challenge. Good luck. That's all I got to say. Cause you're getting ready to do eight full cheeseburger patties. Y'all, there's a whole lot of ways to be creative. You can do veggie burgers. You can do impossible burger. I mean, I can't imagine eight full size patties going at me. And, and coming out too, and got to come out. You talking about bent over, sick, meat sweats. Now that I said the cat, y'all see what I did. When you didn't see it, click the previous video. No ma'am, spam. I wasn't having it. Oh, and them little tiny, tiny crystals burgers still did me dirty. I don't even want to go into detail. Still did me dirty. And my friend Anthony told me that too. He was like, you gonna pay for this? I said, oh yeah. I'm paying for it. Some little tiny burgers. I was like, oh. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh. Uh -uh. oh uh. I don't know why. 
I don't do a lot of ground beef. I don't. Like, when I make spaghetti, it's ground turkey. So, yeah. But I did the challenge and I won. Like I said. <laughs> People was mad at me. They was like, oh, you ain't do the challenge right. You cheated. You wimp. I knew you wasn't strong enough to do my challenge. Oh well, turtle shell. I did it my way. Mm-hmm. Mm. Wow. Let me give you out some of these. For my VIPs. Look at that. Fried to perfection. All right, take it back. I offered. <laughs> mm. Shout out to Pick of All Trades. Pick of All Trades. I asked her to make some gumbo since she's from Louisiana. And she made it. And it looked so good. Tam's Table XP to cook some gumbo. And I'm like, I got you. Like, I have already have half the ingredients here. So it ain't nothing to just go whip up some gumbo. Only thing is, I like shrimp in mine. She did chicken and sausage, which is your standard gumbo. So she made it like, you know, they make it there. But I like shrimp. Oh my God. Right down on that shrimp and that rice and that roux and those onions. Mmm. They got some seafood gumbo at Papa Do's. Baby. Baby. I always get me some. We go for happy hour for our refreshing beverages. I give me a bowl to go, a bowl of seafood gumbo to go. Without fail. Gotta have it. Okay, let's get to the game. Because I've satisfied my craving. Mm, these things is good. Did, you, did I give y'all a close up? Mm. Whoo! Okay, so the new game is called Name That Actor. And so what I will do is I will throw out a catchy phrase from either a movie, film, a commercial. It could be anywhere from theater or film or TV. And you have to name the actor or the actress that said it. Now, I'll give you an example, or this is the preview for next week. Not next week, next video. <clears throat> Dwayne, where are my clothes? Dwayne, where my clothes? Where'd you put my clothes? <laughs> Name that actor. Now, you can give me Jasmine Guy, because that is the actor or actress's name. Or... You can give me Whitley. I'll accept either one. But I really am looking for her government name, Jasmine Guy, or the name that she acts up under. So give me the working name of the actress. I'll give you one more. Send my love, go bang, bang, bang. You better run, you sweet little thing. Cause when my love goes bang, 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 it's gonna be you and me again. Name that actor. Now you can give me pops. I'll accept it, but I'm really looking for John Witherspoon. So that is how the game goes. So as you can see, those two actors were from TV, not film. So when the actual game starts, it's gonna be all mixed up. So get ready, see eats, 
John Ty Eats, Diversity University, Zoo Time, and everybody else to be in the comments duking it out. Get ready. Pulling out my acting chops. Because y'all be getting them right. I be like, dang. How they know that? Dang. That old movie. Oh, and then part two of Name That Sitcom is coming back too because people been telling me they like when I sing on my channel. Okay, that's good to know. <laughs> Y'all remember when Gina did that? Oh, Martin, they was getting ready to go get down and she had on that blue dress. She said, <laughs> Oh, Martin. Oh, my God. That come on. I still be like, oh, snap. This is my favorite episode right here. Y'all, my fa what's y'all favorite Martin episode? My favorite Martin episode has to be Varnell Hill. It's like nonstop laughs. First of all, it's a two part episode. First part is when Varnell goes to Detroit and is in the radio station singing. <laughs> you can take the children and bounce them on their knees. Bounce them on their knees and then I sing the melody. The Barnell Man. Did you mean she's man? Y'all that don't know where that's from, y'all got to excuse me. Baby, that episode got to be over 20 years old. And I still laugh so hard on that part. The second part is when Martin went to Hollywood trying to get on. And interrupted the whole Jodeci late night talk show segment. It could mean goodbye. It could mean goodbye. Oh, yeah. Oh yeah, oh yeah, yeah. Nick, Nick, Patty, went. <laughs> Give it number bone, <laughs> y'all. Martin, that's got to go down in history. It's one of the best. I'm so glad they got rid of that reboot. Um, the reboot idea. Mm mm. We gotta let that classic live. Let's let it live. It's like with these reboots, you dousing it. Dousing it with all this new stuff. Mm -mm. Can't make it no greater. And then Tommy gone. Mm -mm. I want to thank y'all for tuning in to Tam's Table. Man, I can't wait till y'all hear my jingle. I got this fire. I keep on saying it, y'all. And I, now I realize why big YouTubers, they tell you that something's getting ready to happen, but they can't really go into detail because they'll ruin it'll ruin the surprise like but they just keep on saying i got something coming up i got something coming up because they're so excited about it that's me right now i'm so excited about my jingle i just can't wait for y'all to hear it i know y'all gonna love it i know y'all gonna jam to it too and it's only 15 seconds 15 seconds of greatness from tam tables y'all thanks so much for tuning in to tam's table if this is your first time tuning in to me, I want you to hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so that you're made aware whenever I post new content. Also, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up, share the video, and drop down in the comments and let me know what you thought. Again, my name is Tamara Faye, and I want you to have a wonderful day. Bye from Tam's Tay.